So let's move ahead with question number four. Can you explain animation fundamentals in Silverlight? In this question, we will do three things. First, we will try to understand what is animation. Second, we will try to understand uh, what is a timeline. And finally, what we'll do is that uh, we will try to understand three types of animation supported by Silverlight. From a 30,000 feet level, animation is nothing but it's a modification of value over a period of time. Right. For example, let's say that you have a circle and if you modify the canvas dot right value over a period of time, you will feel an illusion that the circle is moving in a right direction. Now, as I said that animation is nothing but, you know, it's, it's modifying the value over a period of time. Now, this period of time, you know, can be, uh, you know, seconds, it can be minutes or it can be hours. So, the time uh, or we can say the unit of time on which the animation moves is called as the timeline. So, there are two important definitions, you know, which we have covered in this slide. First, animation is nothing but it's a modification of value. Second, timeline is nothing but it's a unit of time on which the animation will move. Uh, you know, just to uh, just to add on, uh, we have a timeline class in Silverlight, which belongs to system.windows.media namespace. So, that represents a timeline uh, entity uh, in Silverlight. Silverlight uses three properties to do animation. One is a from, to and the by. Now, you can use two combinations from it. You can either use the from and to or you can either use the from and by. Now, when you use the from and to, it becomes an absolute animation. So, for example, if you say go from 0 to 100, now that's completely absolute. You can either use the from and by and make it relative. When you use the from and by, the, the animation progresses from the value specified from the from to the value of from plus the by. So, it becomes more of a relative animation. Now, further Silverlight has classified uh, both of these animations as li uh, linear and, and non-linear. In other words, for example, let's say that, you know, okay, go uh, from 0 to 10 kilometers with a speed of 50. So, that becomes a linear one. But let's say that, let's say that I say, okay, go from 0 to 100, but from 0 to 50, go with a speed of 10, and from 50 to 100, go with a speed of something, let's say 50. You know, now what happens, you know, here is, it's a bit of, a bit of non-linear animation. So, depending on the animation nature, you can use the from to and by and create a linear animation or you can use the from to and by and create a non-linear animation. As we have already mentioned that animation is nothing but it's about modifying a property value over a period of time. So, uh, Silverlight has given three different kind of uh, animation types and depending on your animation needs, you can use one of them. Uh, let's say, for example, you want to do, uh, you want to just specify double value to, uh, uh, to a rectangle height, canvas height or width. You can use a double animation uh, type. So, here you can modify uh, the double value of height and width of the object. Now, again, you know, when you specify the double, double values, you are basically going to specify the double values for uh, uh, double values using from, to and by. Let's say that, you know, in case you have a line and segment and you want to specify the x and y values, then you can use the point animation. Let's say that you have an object and you basically want to uh, modify the color of the object uh, using a hexadecimal value. So, you can use a color animation. So, depending on the animation needs, you know, you can use double animation, point animation and the color animation. Now, what we'll do, it, uh, do, is, that in the, uh, do is that in the coming up video, we will take up the double animation and we will try to animate a rectangle object. Okay, before we move ahead, you know, let's get acquainted with one more vocabulary that is the storyboard. Now, storyboard is nothing but uh, it's basically, uh, you know, sequence or collection of snapshots and sketches which are depicted over a period of time. Now, as they are depicted over a period of time, you get an illusion of animation. For example, uh, currently I have sketch 1, sketch 2, sketch 3 and sketch 4. Now, if I move these sketches over a period of time, right, then you can get an illusion of animation. So, you can think about storyboard as a collection of animation group together, you know, and uh, when you basically move these uh, collection of uh, uh, objects together, you, you get an illusion of animation. Now, the whole purpose of this video is mainly to get acquainted with vocabularies. When I say vocabulary, vocabulary like storyboard, vocabulary like timeline, vocabulary like from, to and by. Because when we start doing the practicals, you know, or when we start typing the XAML files of Silverlight, you will start getting these tags like storyboard tag, timeline tag or uh, probably you will get the from, to and by uh, properties, the double animation, point animation and the color animation which we discussed, the different kind of animations. 
so when we start doing practical you know these vocabularies uh, will be needed now and then so i hope that this video was able to cover the main concept of animation from silverlight aspect and it was also able to uh, make you familiar with the necessary vocabularies for for the coming up practicals Thank you.